Almost all of us have at some point heard about Windows and how it functions to improve our everyday lives. But many don't know any of the information in regards to what made Windows become the all-time best-selling program that it is today. Windows was first announced in 1983 after MS-DOS consumers wanted something that would be more accessible to the everyday consumer due to the fact that DOS was a difficult-to-use command-driven software. In response to consumer requests, Microsoft released its first version of Windows, Windows 1.0. This was a revolutionary step forward for operating systems because it was the first one Windows had created and it also utilized a mouse to point and click. Fast forward five years and the next leap forward for Windows is version 3. This version looks most similar to the, word, to the versions we have today and have had in the future, but most importantly it features peer-to-peer -peer interactions, making this the first software that encouraged sharing between individuals. Also. In 2001, Windows created the first dedicated customer service system to provide Windows users with help for any questions or issues they may be having with the software. In 2009, the first version of Windows Touch was released, which was a large technical step forward due to the fact that many consumers are now purchasing touch input devices, and three years after that they optimized their latest version, Windows 8, to work with all types of input devices and all types of devices whether they are portable or stationary. The most recent advancement they had was this year, 2015, with Windows 10, reintroducing the start box, but more importantly, allowing users to upgrade to the software for free. Windows has always been on the forefront of operating system technology, and frankly, had there never been a Windows, you, might, you most likely wouldn't see any of the operating systems we do today. So whether you love it or hate it, I speak for everyone when I say thank you, Windows. Windows Advantages Windows has many different advantages. More than 80% of the population use it, and it's the main operating system trusted by banks and businesses, so obviously they're doing something right. So what makes it so dependable? First of all, it has a large selection of programs. Being the most popular operating system, most programs are compatible with Windows. It also has a very large shareware and freeware library, allowing you to change the software up to better fit your needs. If you want to save the alterations or other things such as multimedia, pictures, documents, etc., you can save it to the SkyDrive, which is Microsoft's cloud storage, where it will be protected and safe for you to retrieve. Windows is also very easy to use. It's easy to use the operating system and the network. It's also easy to set up multiple monitors if you wish. You might think, great, but how is this going to help me if I decide to switch to a tablet? The good news is the desktop and touch screens, they're the same thing. The versions are the same. They don't have any differences in the programming. Also, if you do have any further questions, they have books available for every version. I hope you choose Windows. The Cons of OS X OS X is more expensive in comparison to Windows. The cheapest device available on Apple's website is an 11-inch MacBook Air. The price starts at around $900. In comparison to a Windows device, you can get a lot more than an 11-inch laptop for $900 with Windows already installed upon it. For desktop or home use, Macs are generally more expensive than a PC. In choosing OS X, you will have less support, assistance, and help due to Apple being proprietary. If any problems arise, you must directly contact Apple. Since Apple is proprietary, they do not allow others to manipulate or know much about their devices or software, giving you a limited option to fix difficulties that may arise. OS X limits you to very few hardware choices, as it is significantly more intricate than Windows due to its Unix base, 
making it hard to navigate, also including a limited choice of programs and apps due to its user range. Hi, my name is Michael Hodge. I'm here to talk about the disadvantages for Linux. Um, now we've said all we've all said that there are great things about Windows and how it's a great operating system. You all may have even thought, well, there are other operating systems out there to choose from. That is true, but when you compare Windows to other operating systems, it should be a no-brainer. One of the operating systems out there on the market is Linux. You ever heard of them? You may have, you may have not, but if you haven't, there's a reason behind it. They're not that well known, very little people use them. Uh, about 1% of computer users around the world use them. And there are many reasons why. Linux is an open source system, which means you can modify it and change it however you want. Um, now, it does sound great, a great thing to do, but think about this for a second. Does everyone know how to modify an operating system? Do you have time for it? Do you have time to go to school or have someone teach you how to? Probably not. With how quick and how busy people's schedules are, there may not be enough time. Linux's operating system is complicated for those who don't understand computers well. And with Linux having a lack of software, it can be difficult for those who don't go to school or who go to school and use their computers, which most schools use Windows. Um, if you were needing to use Microsoft Office, you would need to use LibreOffice for Linux. If you needed to use Adobe Photoshop for school, with Linux, you have to use GIMP. Now, moving on from that. Now, many people will like to play games on computers. Games are fun to play. They can be relaxing and even, enjoy, even, even be able to enjoy them during your downtime. With Linux, you can play hardly any games with their operating systems. So if you're a gamer by any means, Linux will not be the way to go. With Windows, you can play just about all their games on the operating system. And finally, the biggest issue with Linux is support. If your Windows acts up or is not working properly, you have customer support or even customer service. Um, you can call them, email them, etc. Or you can even go on Google, maybe find a web page that can discuss that's discussing it, or you can even go to YouTube and have someone explain to you on a video on how to fix the problem. Or the last solution, maybe someone who has a, w a Windows computer and knows how to fix the problem. Linux, on the other hand, doesn't have much support. Their only support is either on websites that have Linux users that understand and know how it works, or you have to find someone outside of the internet that you may know that knows Linux and knows how it operates. So basically, it would just come down to you either have to learn how to fix it yourself or take it to someone who can, which is not very, which you don't have very many options. Linux has very little help with any issues it may have. And between Windows and Linux, it should be an easy choice. 9% of computer users use Windows, less than 1% use Linux. Without having the time to learn Linux or have the help you need, Windows can provide you with all your needs with using their computers. Thank you. With the release of Windows 10, Microsoft gave us a glimpse of the future. Windows 10 can be ran on any device. With the development of a feature called Continual, Microsoft hopes to do away with the modern computer. Continual will allow Windows 10 to reduce its size while on your phone, but will expand when connected to other devices via Bluetooth. Microsoft now owns Nokia, so you can bet these devices are in the works. The future of Windows. How can emerging technologies transform the way we get things done five to ten years in the future? Well, Windows believes that the future will be centered around people, so they are in the process of creating a productivity future vision. The productivity future vision will bring people together, have friction-free creativity, and fluid mobility. Though the productivity future vision is set, isn't set to be released yet, 
Windows believes that it could possibly be ready for release by the year of 2020. While they continue to work on that, Windows have been in the lab working on a hot new piece of technology that is set to be released in early 2016 called the HoloLens. The HoloLens is the first fully untethered holographic computer that you wear. It enables you to bring your digital world into your real world. So for all you gamers out there and all you scientists, look out because Windows HoloLens is coming your way.